Want to know how you can quickly and easily create a countdown timer for your next YouTube video? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using the app Keynote, and it's all for free and it's going to take us under 10 minutes. So let's dive in. So we're going to open up Keynote and select File, New. And then we're just going to select this basic presentation and click create. We don't need these title prompts, so we're going to delete those. And then the next thing we want to do is change this background color by heading over to the right hand side here to background and we're going to select no fill and this is really important now it's going to appear black on your screen right now but when you export it it's one of the steps that we need to take to ensure that it's transparent now we're going to start creating our clock and we want to head up the top here to shapes and you could have whatever shape you like for your clock you could have a star or a triangle or a square but I'm going to select the circle now it appears black and I'm going to change the color to red you could have whatever color you like and I'm just going to make this shape a little bit bigger now we want to add the numbers to our clock so we're going to select text and I'm going to change the font over here and then I'm also going to change the size of the font and the color to white just so that it really pops off the clock. Now I'm going to create a 10 second timer. You could create a 20 second, 30 second, 60 second timer. Just for this example, I'm going to create a 10 second timer. So however length you want your timer to be, that's the first number that you want to create. So I'm going to put in here the number 10. Now I want to start creating the countdown for my clock. So I'm going to duplicate each slide so that it's counting 10 down to zero. So I'm going to head over to my slide and click duplicate. And then I'm just gonna do that for all of my slides. So I need a total of 11 slides so that it's 10 down to zero. Now that we've created the foundation of our clock, we want to go in and change the numbers so it's 10, nine, eight, all the way down to zero. So just select each slide and then go on to the main slide, double tap, and then change the digits. We've created our countdown timer and now it's time to export. So we're gonna select File, Export To, and then select Movie. And we want to change this go to next slide after to one second because it's a countdown timer. I'm gonna change go to next build after to zero seconds. And then this is a critical step in making sure that when it's exported, it is actually a transparent background. And that is to make sure your compression type is set to Apple Pro Res 4444. And then I've also got the export with transparent background checked. So I'm gonna select next. And I'm gonna save this to my desktop as clock timer and export. So my export is complete. I want to show you what this actually looks like inside of an actual video now. So I'm going to open up iMovie. You can see there is the clock timer saved to my desktop. So I'm going to open up this project I already prepared earlier in iMovie and I'm going to select the arrow and I'm gonna select clock timer and I'm gonna import that to iMovie. 
You can see the clock timer up here and I'm just going to drag that on top of my video. You can see when you first overlay the clip that it's smack bang in the middle of your video, which we don't want. And that's because it's set to cut away. So we wanna change that to picture in picture. And you can see it immediately gets smaller. And I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to change the dissolve to zero. And now let's take a look at our final product. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want even more countdown timer examples that you can create using mobile, then check out this video right here.